Welcome back, everybody. We're here right at the end of time. I just saved my game. And if you notice, the two portals that lead to those sealed time gates are no longer here. But first, before we go to 2300 AD, there is something I want to pick up. So let's go to Medina Village, as you've seen. And doesn't this look awfully familiar? Now, we were here briefly before. We already got the item in that chest. Now that we have the powered up pendant, we can open this up. This was the nor what, what is left of the Northern Shrine that was sealed away in 12,000 BC. Remember, it was sealed by the Queen's power. Well, we have the power of Shala's pendant, and she's from there, so... This will open this baby right up for you. You can do this any time after you gain the powered up pendant, but it's to your advantage to do it now. I honestly didn't realize this until this playthrough that this was indeed the Northern Ruins of 12,000 BC. Because I always wondered what the hell the new moon meant by this, but I just didn't pay attention to, obviously, the fact that it was in Zeal Kingdom. I mean, I know it was related somehow, but I didn't even realize they explicitly tell you what the hell it was. So this new has been here all along. Now, these shiny boxes look familiar, don't they? Unfortunately, in this case, you can only choose one. The left one has a guardian helm, which, uh, which ups your defense and cuts physical damage by one third. To the right is a weapon for Chrono. You swallow. We're going to pick that up. There are better helmets in the game that we can get. So we are going to place the Primeval Blade with the Swallow, which is going to up his attack by a whopping 41 and adds 3 speed, upping it to 15. Which is totally awesome. And now, I am going to go into my items. And give... Chrono, one of my speed capsules. And if you notice now, his speed is double starred, meaning it is maxed out. Speed is maxed out at 16 for all characters. Um, there is the only way to get around that is with haste, which will continue to double your speed if you have haste on you. So theoretically, with haste on, you have can have max speed of 32. But character stat wise, it is capped at, 15, at 16. Because it does not involve with your level, yeah, I get some slow characters, but I just thought I'd max him out because it is awesome. I've already healed up my character, so is it Proto Dome we want to go to? Do we want to go to Bangor Dome? No, that's Mystic Mountains. Where's Bangor Dome? Yeah, Protodome is the one we initially went through that we first got here at the end of time. That's why it's the one in the center, because no other portals lead to it. Alright, got confused there for a second. And in here, we have a bunch of chests. We get an alluring top, a high ether, and a workman's wallet. Uh, the workman's wallet is an accessory. That turns the XP into gold. Why the hell would you want to do that? Money is not a problem in this game. It is a little bit at the start of the game, but you're never going to have a money problem in this game. Um, however, where is the Learn Top? Oh, the Learn Top is an accessory as well. Uh, the Learn Top boosts the success rate of charm. Um, I tend really not to use that too much, so, but you can. And actually, no, I do want to go back in the portal. We need to go to the Keeper's Dome next. But we are going to shortcut to the Protodome. So we don't have to go through Site 32 and all that crap. You know, we've been. This is like the third video where we've had nothing happen except plot exposition. That's going to change here, folks. There's an Enertron if you need it. 
go out the damn door. Actually, no, I didn't... Damn it. Actually, no, it is faster this way. Okay. Johnny, I don't want to race you. Yeah, this is where this is a screen with a race recorder, as I think. You know that I was asking about that like twenty something episodes ago. I think the bike race bypasses Site 32 altogether, which means we've never been here before. I was hoping a shortcut, but oh well, if it's something we've never seen before. And why is Chrono's weapon a blue lightsaber now? According to my map, we have indeed never been here. Eh, I think that's where the race recorder is. No! You're not allowed to sneak up on me like that and make the other sprites disappear. And lightning two. Yeah, these are like beginning of the game enemies, so yeah, this should take care of no problem. Yeah, that's where the race recorder log is. All right. Yeah, site 32 isn't that long, like so. Now the races will Johnny will change, and you can actually uh, accumulate points and get stuff out of it. I am not going to do that, so because I well suck at racing with Johnny, so screw that. It's completely optional and not something I need to worry about. at the end. Will you let me stop, please? Alright. Hey, how did you get here so fast? There we go. Now, to get to the Keeper's Dome, we need to go through Sewer Access, as it was called in the original game. If you do not already take care of all the sewer crap, you would have to do it now, so... Actually, no, we want to go around this way. Now the door is closed, so yeah, I'm actually no. We have the bridge down here, so we don't even need to go through all that crap again, do we? So yeah, like I said, if you did not already go through sewer access, you would need to take care of everything now. We still cannot do anything at Death Peak, although. Apparently somebody mentioned there's a shiny in here. That you have just enough time to get. Um, I'm gonna try once more. Which is something I never knew about. Yeah. Wherever it is, I can't get it. It may be too late in the game to get it now, but... If I'm being a dumbass about that... And I'm just going in the wrong spot, please let me know. Hey! error. Hmm. Oh, well that kind of... Ugh, I forgot we get to go underneath, do we? Right through here. This is where we met a fellow named Balthazar. Remember that? Oh, shinies. Shinies. Who says hmm there, by the way? Yes. This is the Balthazar, the guru of reason from Zeal. How the hell did he get in 2300 AD? That's a question for later. This is where things are starting to come full circle. Yes, we knew that already. Hmm. 
I'm just letting this dialogue speak for itself, folks. I didn't want to interrupt the dot with the the lovely last testament over there. But now that we know a little bit more about Lavos, let me kind of put this into a weird perspective. Lavos is a giant extraterrestrial parasite who sucks life from the planet and survives for millions of years. Doesn't this sound like a really, really crappy B-movie 1970s science fiction movie plot? Or is that just me? I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to, like, diss the game or anything like that, but if you think about it in that perspective, that's the image I get in my head. Oh, that is cool looking. No, really? Thank you, Captain Obvious. Yeah, and you have to kind of kind of try to leave. And these are the seats. You know, until he actually mentioned that just now, I never actually realized those actually are seats. Like, I always just thought it was like a weird platform looking thing, but once you know they're seats, the graphic actually does look like seats. And I never noticed that before. Yes, this is what he was doing when we saw him way at the beginning in the optional cutscene. He was copying his memory into this guy. Hi. And we can name it. The default name is Epoch. Which we are going to keep. But first, I'm going to show you guys something. Shiny! That's not what I wanted to show you, by the way. I didn't even know that appeared there that soon. If you want to rename Epoch, now you can. Or maybe you can't just yet. But anyway, that console will enable you to rename Epoch, if you so desire. Apparently, the shiny shows up, but I do not have access to that console yet. But that is what it does. And that is the only thing it does, so... Why are these doors shutting behind me? Yeah, see, they're sitting in the seats. Robo, you're too fat. I love this is mumble mumble. <laughs> Take off! Now, we can go to any time period. Now, the way this controls is weird. Because both L and R do work to move it as well as up and down. So once you start like going around the curve there, be careful what time period you select. And for the first time, if you notice, we can actually go to 1999 AD. You can actually get there by the bucket in the end of time. Which is before, like at least this point in the game, is completely stupid to do because it's a death trap. So let's head back to 12... Thousand BC. I almost said million there for some idiotic reason. And he's like, I have to control this. Look at that muscles on him, man. Now I have a rather odd question here. And there's a reason I'm asking this. Now, I know it doesn't matter too much. How do we know how to control this thing? And you'll see why I'm asking that question a little bit later. Now, this is funny because this was invented in your time period. Granted, it was invented by a genius built out of his time who wanted to go back home, but still.
And we're back here. Unfortunately, the epoch is not capable of movement, only travel through time. And that's the cave we came in, by the way. But our mission now is to save Melchior from the Mountain of Woe. Which is that big hunk of floating rock up there attached to that chain. Now that we've actually triggered the quest to do that, now this ladder will fully extend. And here we see the village of the Earthbound Ones, who we have not seen prior to this. So the people of Zeal are a bunch of racists. Nice. Yeah, and you can also pick up a weapon for Chrono here, uh, which does, as uh, the thing, one and a half damage to magical beasts, uh, beings, whatever. Um, yeah, we have the Swallow, so screw that. Yeah, the Swallow, you should not really have that that early, but you can get it early, so why the hell not pick it up? Um, yeah, let's get the Comet Bow. Uh, Mega Blaster for Luca. And that for Frog. And we can pick up Radiant Helms, too, which the three gentlemen can equip. And, oh, frig, I'm out of money. Ha 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 Alright, let's sell some crap. No, I don't want to go to equip. I want to go to sell. Um, we can sell the Thunderblade, the Bandit's Bow. Yeah, what was I said about money not being a problem in this game? Yeah, it's usually not unless you're like me and have to buy everything. But we're making some of this back, so that we can sell. And that we can sell. That we can sell. Yeah, I haven't sold weapons and equipment in a while, so... now um and I can move around some of my equipment as well and sell those because all right let's change around some of my equipment oh yeah I can't equip anything Actually, I'm going to keep the Masamune on for now. Yeah, let's give him the Triceratopper. Give her one. Oh, I have a Stone Helm here. Okay. Now we'll sell some more crap. <laughs> oh my god, I'm wasting too much time. Sell my excess iron helms. I can sell that. And I can sell my bronze helms. Alright, now we get a decent amount of money again. Alright, these three gentlemen can equip that, so we're gonna buy that. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm gonna buy one of those for Chrono. Do I want to buy any for the ladies? Yeah, the only difference is the gender. And the women has one less defense, but five magic defense, so... Um, I'm gonna buy that for Isla. And I'm gonna buy one for Luca, too. Gentlemen, the helms. And their armors. Okay. There we go. Okay, that, that'll be good for now. Okay. I'm trying to conserve a little bit of my money. Did I talk to you already? No! Oh, that's one of the caves. Okay. I got lost for a second where the hell I was. Yeah, I know this episode is going on for a while. We're almost done with this one. Hmm. This line 
the dialogue I believe was kind of left out of the original because I've seen fan speculation about this as well. E what this guy says is true. Just break the chain! Break the chain, Squazzy! Little meme from... Get down the damn ladder, my own life. Oh, child! Did you have to give him the lisp? Did you have to, game? Um, yeah, why not? Don't know if we're at full, so... Save ourselves the shelter. Robo, you don't need to sleep! Oh, So yeah, we're a bunch of racists. Talk to me. Yes, we already know that. Alright, so what awaits us now? As we are 13 hours into the game. Holy crap. In up in the mountain of woe. You're gonna have to find out later because this episode has gone on too long. See you later. <laughs>